Hi, y'all. It's Brandy and giveaway. Yay! Okay. Water first. This is what we do. We do water first. Oh my gosh, y'all. I got this fantastic glass bottle for like $2 at Ikea. And it holds so much water. It's amazing. Okay. So, we're giving away New Moon Intention Deck and a Labradorite Generator. I, um... Brenda, I saw your comment. I am putting together a video on the difference between obelisks, pillars, and generators, and going to take it into like a 10-minute discussion, hopefully. Um, I have my paper here. I have everybody's names because we're old school, but I did it in purple. Hey, P.S. Happy 11-11. Yeah, no. Okay, so the truth is that I know I'm super late on getting this up. But I had to get my life in order and back to reading. So I know I saw many me on here. On my other channel, on Tink's Tarot, I am going to start having my videos up. Yay! I'm back on Fiverr. Yay! Reading for real. Yay! Okay. So enough with that nonsense. Um, two things happening right now. I have the giveaway on this iPad. Before I do it, really quick because it is 11.11. I want, and I just got done with this, I want to pull two cards for y'all, okay? 11.11, we're gonna pull two cards for the collective. Um, I have been all smudged out, I smoked the whole place. This is my bedroom, you can see like, my vanity is all a mess. Um, just gonna pull a card. Two cards, because I want to pull one of those as well. All right. For the collective of my channel on this channel, what energy can we work with over the next year? Okay, I chose an Elise Seal Smoky Quartz for manifesting for the next year. May I also recommend to you Yellow Adventuring if you're looking for personal power. That has come up a lot. Anyway. Those are my crystals that I'm using this next year. Are you ready? Can I have a card, please, for the energy, you know, of the Tarot Collective, the people on my channel? What energy? Yikes. None of those. Okay. I heard none of those. Pick them all back up. Too many anyway, so. It's because I'm excited. I'm trying to make this fast, y'all. There it is. All right. Yes. Three of wands. Do you know what direction you're going? Go that way. Take action. Move forward. Yes. I love it. All right. So manifesting on this 11-11. That we all have our path shown to us in a beautiful way. That we all are able to take action that is appropriate. Look at this beautiful card. Seriously. Oh, gosh. And Thorn deck is my favorite currently. Um, and that the path be put in front of us. And that all of us are able to take our creative energies to new heights. Soaring above and um, through the woods making our way. Easily, peasily. As we manifest, may all of our manifesting come to fruition and yeah, may all of your dreams come true this next year, whatever you are manifesting. All right, the other the other card I want to pull is just an animal totem. I love this deck. Do you love this deck? It's the animal spirit guides. Now I don't have this deck memorized, so what I want to do is pull a card and then read it real quick to you, and then we're gonna read the giveaway. What? Are you kidding? Both of them? No. Okay, we got dragon and phoenix. And we got golden egg. These are all spirit cards. So spirit is strong this next year. Let them speak to you. Let them guide you. They will show you the way. Can I have one card, please, for the collective on my channel? Yes, work with the ether. Work with spirit. Connect in. I hear that. Come on, guys. I wanted to make this less than five minutes. So far, I'm losing. There it is. Swan. Yes. 
All right, so the animal for your manifestations as you move forward, my friends, this next year from 11-11-2020 to 11-11-2021, when you can re-up because best manifestation day ever. Let's see what this says really quick, and then we're going to do the giveaway. Okay? Okay. So, so swan is water, right? Obviously. Even though it's a bird, it's water. Water element. So if you work with the elements to, um, you know, pull all of that stuff in to help you, um, that's going to be your emotional world. It's going to be your ability to express things, your relationships, your boundaries. Um, uh, you know, think water. Think Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio type energy, psychic energy. Um, also, swans are super loyal um, and they mate for life. So if you're having issues in your relationships or you're trying to manifest something particular in your relationships, remember your personal power, especially if you're using a venturing. Um, uh, I'm using this, right, this Elysteal, Elysteal Smoky Quartz, right? So that's for evolution of spirit, even within, um, like, relationships. Bring the spirit in. Let it guide you. I cannot find this. <laughs> there it is. All right. Effortless creativity. Here we go. I'm going to hold that up. I don't know if you can screenshot that, but that way you can see it. I'm going to read it to you. I read pretty fast, and then we're going to draw a winner. Yeah. This is for your manifestation, a totem animal for next year. Effortless creativity. Yes, please. Sensitive mystic. What? There's that word again. I love that word, mystic. I'm going to channel my inner dark crystal. Elegant power. Thank you. Thank you. I will take it. The swan represents heightened creativity in Hindu mythology. Also, P.S. I love the Hindu mythology and religion. The goddess Saraswati, the embodiment of language, creativity, and artistry. Please forgive if I said that wrong. Rides on the back of this graceful creature. The swan is ready to take us there to the fluid realm of writing, creating, and reflecting. This potent and healing energy is not to be taken for granted or taken lightly when the swan card appears your soul is calling for attention for solo time an inner voice is waiting to be heard an inner vision is likely to be revealed um, when you are in balance you will have infinite creative power when you are feeling out of balance you will feel agitated snippy lacking vision kind of like a roadblock right to bring yourself into balance Take time, solo time, remove thyself. I'm going to say self-care on this one. Take a hot bath, you know what I mean? And writing. There you go. There's your animal. Brilliant. I'm so excited. All right, let's get down to the giveaway. Ready, steady. All right. So I have a picker wheel on here. If I can make it. There it goes. Um, And... Okay. So one through nine. One through nine. Did it go? No. Hold on a sec. Because clearly have screwed something up. Also, this iPad is really old, so it takes a minute. Thanks, you guys. Okay. Do to do, do. We're just gonna keep adding. Four. Man, this takes forever. I should have done this before, but I didn't know it was going to take this long. There we go. Okay. You guys ready? Do, do, do. We have one through nine based on your comments down below. 
And what I want you to do is I'm going to pick someone and then um, if you could either leave your email down below or on my Instagram, which is bkplays at InstaLife. So that, and then once I have your email and once you get the email from me, just delete the comment from YouTube because I don't like leaving that up. Okay, and then I will send this out tomorrow or Friday. Ready, steady. Oh, can you see it? Okay, we're gonna hit spin. Can you see it's one through nine on there? Is it one through nine on there? Yes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ready, go. All right, let's see who it is. Number two is Darcy S. So if you look at the YouTube comments from the bottom going up, Darcy S. Yay. All right, you guys, thanks so much for spending time with me. I hope all of your manifesting dreams come true. Have a great year. See you later this week. Bye.